In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the elimination method to solve a system of linear equations. We're going to go over examples where we have two variables and three variables as well. But let's start with a simple example. So let's say that 2x plus y is equal to 5, and 3x minus y is also equal to 5. So how can we find the value of x and y? By the way, whenever you have two variables, you need two equations to solve it. To use elimination method, we need to add the two equations. Notice that if we add the two equations, the y variable cancels. y plus negative y is equal to 0. 2x plus 3x is 5. So therefore, 5x is equal to 5 plus 5, which is 10. So now we could find the value of x. What we need to do is divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1x is the same as x. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So x is equal to 2. Now that we have the value of x, what we need to do is plug it back in into one of the original equations to get the value of y. Let's use the first one. So let's replace x with 2, not 1. And let's find the value of y. 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 plus y is 5. Now, if we subtract both sides by 4, we can get the value of y. So y is equal to 5 minus 4, which is 1. So as an ordered pair, we can write the answer like this, 2 comma 1. x is 2, y is 1. Now, let's work on another example. Let's say that 5x plus 4y is equal to 22. And also, 7x plus 6y is equal to 32. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So we can either cancel x or y. Let's cancel the y variable again. So we need to change this equation, the two equations, such that when we add them, the y variables will cancel. So first, we need to find the least common multiple between 4 and 6. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, and 16. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18. Notice that the least common multiple is 12. So therefore, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 so that the 4y will change into positive 12y. The second equation, I'm going to multiply by negative 2 so I can get negative 12y. Positive 12y plus negative 12y adds up to 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So everything in the first equation, we need to multiply by 3. So 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times 4y is 12y. And 3 times 22 is 66. Now let's multiply everything in the second equation by negative 2. Negative 2 times 7x is negative 14x. Negative 2 times 6y is negative 12y. And negative 2 times 32 is 64. Well, negative 64. Now let's go ahead and add the two equations. 12y and negative 12y will cancel. They add up to 0. 15x plus negative 14x is 1x. And 66 minus 64 is 2. So therefore, x is equal to 2. So we can get rid of this stuff. Now let's use the first equation without the 3 involved. Let's replace x with 2. And then let's find the value of y. 5 times 2 is 10. Next, we need to subtract both sides by 10. 22 minus 10, that's 12. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So y is equal to 3. So the solution is 2 comma 3. And that's how you do it. Now let's work on an example with three variables. x plus y plus 2z. Let's say that's equal to 9. And also 
x minus y plus c is equal to 2 and 2x plus y minus 3z is equal to negative 5. So feel free to try this example using the principles that we discussed in the first uh, two examples. Now there's three equations. We need to combine two at a time. Notice that if we add equation one and two, the y variables will cancel. So let's go ahead and combine these two equations. But I'm going to rewrite it. So let's add x plus y plus 2z with x minus y plus c. So the y variables will cancel. x plus x is 2x. 2z plus z, that's 3z. 9 plus 2 is 11. Now let's save this equation. We're going to use it later. Let's get rid of this stuff. Now the next thing we need to do is use equation 3. We've already used 1 and 2, but we have to use equation 3. We need to cancel the same variable, that is, we need to cancel y again, so that we get another equation with x and y, which we can combine it with this equation to solve for x and y, I mean x and z. So just in case what I said was confusing, what we need to do is use equation 3 with 1 or 2, cancel the same variable y, so we can get another equation in terms of x and z, which we can combine it with this equation. So let's use equations 2 and 3, so we don't have to rewrite it. Let's use these two. If we add them, the y variables will cancel again. x plus 2x is 3x. z plus a negative 3z is a negative 2z. And 2 plus a negative 5, that's a negative 3. So now let's combine this equation with this one. Let's cancel the z variables. The least common multiple between 2 and 3 is 6. So let's go ahead and multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 2. So 3x times 3 is 9x. Negative 2z times 3 is uh, negative 6z. And negative 3 times 3 that's negative 9. Now 2 times 2x, that's 4x. 2 times 3z is positive 6z. And 2 times 11 is 22. So let's add these two equations. These will cancel. 9x plus 4x is 13x. Negative 9 plus 22, or 22 minus 9, that's 13 as well. So if we divide both sides by 13, we can see that x is equal to 1. Now that we have the value of x, let's calculate the value of z. So let's use this equation before we multiply it by 2. That is 2x plus 3z is equal to 11. Let's replace x with 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. And if we subtract both sides by 2, 11 minus 2 is 9. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So therefore, z is equal to 3. So now the last thing we need to do is find the value of y. Let's use the very first equation to do that. So let's replace x with 1. And let's replace z with 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 plus 6 is 7, and 9 minus 7 is 2. So therefore, y is equal to 2. So our answer in x, y, z format is going to be 1, 2, 3. So that's it. So now you know how to solve a system of equations with three variables.